Hello dear friends, let's talk about seals. This one we talk about seal and here are some of the seal that I have. Uh, some are mood seal, some are name seal and this particular one is my name seal. The name seal is your official seal. You can have one or two or several of your official chops chop or seal and uh, I have three or four which with my name one is family name one is my my uh, given name and one is my full name with my full name so for example here we have one piece of painting here how you decide where you put your seal and what size of the seal you put let's talk about official seal first. In western painting you need watercolor or oil painting. You will sign your painting with a pencil or with whatever. You sign that's your official signature. Here is Chinese signature. Chinese official signature. And the traditionally Chinese seal is more important than the signature. So first time when we when I get my uh, bank card credit card, I need to sign it, and this is uh, actually a, a shock for for some people. For example, for me, you just sign and uh, and and and, uh, and that's official. This is from our traditional sense and the traditional Chinese way. You sign with your seal and my graduation certificate was signed by the principal of the school and signature plus this seal only after signature and seal that becomes official now i will sign this one here sign my name mm, too low too high yes how to sign your your name first you get a piece of flat and hard brown and some soft paper. This is a paper towel, relatively soft, put under it so that the ink can, can, can take very evenly and see where is the front side and back side. I will sign it here, yes, press it a little bit beautiful beautifully signed this is my name Hai Ying, without my family name and it's good enough and it's elegant official seal is square and this is a positive which the character shows up and the white is the is the is the in carved out place so this is my name Hai Ying, and uh, only with this Maybe I feel it's, uh, the paper is square, relatively rectangular, almost square, and the seal is square. Maybe it needs some more liveliness of this painting. So I will put another mood seal. The mood seal can express your feeling. For example, my heart flows or... Um, I appreciate this elegant. Uh, this will be in, in Chinese in a very poetic way of expressing it. And then you choose the size of the seal. This painting is long, right? Long. Maybe I can choose a painting that is relatively long, but not exactly a rectangular shape. This time I choose an oval shape and put on the right side, upper right. You see, this one is not too heavy, so that the painting itself is not heavy. If you put a too heavy one that uh, does not balance the weight, this side is heavier, this side is lighter. So first, the, the painting's weight is good. And then, if you can write the Chinese title, it is m very good to write a title yourself. This one I will write, Bamboo Wind, 
or swing in the in the wind, whichever. Write the title, your signature, and the name. So the mood feel. It can be the expression of your heart. It can be a balancing of the of the painting. So it's better to have several mood seals to balance different kind of painting, different weight of painting, different color of painting, and different heaviness and color contrast of painting. So this is about the official seal and mood seal. Hope this will help you to understand. Hope my explanation can, can help you a little bit. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.